Welcome back to Nintagius. Onward. Alright, so I think we're already where we want to be. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay. We're, uh, we're going to continue exploring this area. We're going to complain less about Pokemon tonight. Um, in the next episode, that'll probably be, you know, post-Pokemon Scarlet and Violet Worlds, so I might have uh, less concerns about it. I don't know. We'll see. I also think I just decided that while I do still want to play some more Gunfire Reborn, which to this day, I still like my whenever I go to say the name of the t of the game, my mouth tries to say Gunfire Survivors and I have to correct it. But uh I do want to play more of that, but I think what I decided I'm going to do is I'm going to have a gap in gunfire uploads. Because in a couple of weeks here, I'm going to have an issue where I'm having three playthroughs upload at once. Being gunfire this and lunastus. And I typically like to have the uploads be like... alternating so I'll, I'll have it be like an arch fail episode and lunas this episode an arch fail episode a lunas this episode an arch fail episode and then just for a change of pace a lunas this episode that obviously becomes a problem when you're using three playthroughs at once um and i don't know i was looking at like the oh what am i doing i was looking at the like video schedule which i have like hooray i did it from five consecutive dashes without stamina recharge. How the hell did it? Oh, because it recharged when I fell off the ledge, didn't I? Ooh, weekly quest ready. Love to see it. Anyway, I might change my mind. I maybe one of those weeks I'll have like gunfire, archvale, gunfire, lunastis, archvale, or something. I think the most likely outcome is that I would have, like, Lunastus Archvale Gunfire, Lunastus Archvale. I don't know. I'm just thinking out loud. Don't mind me. You might come to realize that that's a lot of what your uh, favorite streamers are doing when they're, when they're making content, is they're just... Turning off their filter, as I, as I like to say, and they're uh, they're just going. They're they're just instead of having an internal monologue, you're just it's an external monologue. Slime cannon. I mean, it looks sick, but I'm probably not gonna like it very much. Which I guess this is really going off the rails, but that's why I like. I really hold it against streamers when they get in trouble for, like, dropping, like, a slur or something off stream. And they're like, oh, it just, like, slipped out. And I'm like, no. If you just, like, if you got into a rhythm and... I mean, yes, I, I agree that it slipped out, but not in the way that they mean it, I guess. If, if you just get into a rhythm with your monologue... Yeah, you're just gonna say stuff like that if you're comfortable saying it. So the problem is, not that it just slipped out, but the problem is is that you're comfortable saying it in the first place. And then you're hiding that. Which, you should hide it, but on the other hand, you shouldn't do it in the first place. Um, whenever I, like, the, and I don't see it very often, but... Like a year ago, I saw a streamer got in trouble for that, and I was just like, yeah, I don't feel bad for him, because... Even when I'm talking to myself, I'm not comfortable, which maybe sounds ridiculous, but once I'm, when I, even when I'm talking to myself, I don't feel comfortable using words like that. So, therefore, I'm not comfortable or used to saying them. Therefore, they're not going to slip out when in a heated moment during a stream or something. I don't have to worry about turning banter on autopilot and then saying something I didn't mean to say. Because... 
a better control over my language than that. I don't know. I guess that is just, uh, this topic really got off the rails, but... Like I said, I think that's, like, kind of the easiest way to banter, is just turn off your filter and be like, this is my internal monologue right now. Instead of thinking things, I'm just saying them. Problem is, is if you think bad things, <laughs> then, you know, they're probably just gonna slip out and you'd be like, oh, shit. I didn't mean to say that. It's like, yeah, well, I probably shouldn't have thought it then. With so much ease and comfort. This is not the greatest checkpoint, if I'm being honest. It's it's kind of out of the way, but like, hey, free defense up. Oh, oh, ow. Oh, oh, ow. Okay, I'm just, I'm dying. This is, this is terrible. Yeah, if you watch a lot of video content, you're going to be like, holy shit, you still have Sonic Colors music stuck in your head? Shut up. Yes, I do. It's a good fucking soundtrack, okay? Have you not played Sonic Colors? Is it not stuck in your head? Like, what's wrong with you? Is the question I would pose. I'm not sure how I feel about the fact, like, looking over at OBS audio levels really quick. Noise cancelling seems to take out whistling entirely. Which is probably a good thing. Because I know some people just do not like the sound of whistling. But on the other hand, I guess I gotta keep it in mind. Because if I'm sitting here whistling a tune, I have to realize that no one else is hearing that. <laughs> that's, that's for me and me alone. And sometimes I do it when I get in a zone, okay? And I think, uh... I lost my train of thought. There's a part of me that thinks I could just turn noise cancelling off if I really wanted people to hear that. But then there's, like, other stuff that I think noise cancelling is, is taking care of that I'd prefer that people didn't hear. Mostly, when I say that, I mean, like, you know, the fan on my computer running and stuff like that. Because my microphone's, like, pretty solid, and it picks up ambient noise like that. Um, and I don't necessarily want you to be able to hear that. And, uh, I guess I should pay closer attention to the audio levels, because I don't know what all it cancels out. If I'm being honest. I don't know, I, I have, like, sinus allergy phlegm problems sometimes. And I don't know. Maybe no one. Maybe no one can hear that shit. I tend to apologize for a lot for it a lot and be like, "Oh, excuse me." Uh, but maybe nobody can hear that. Like, maybe it's canceling that out too. For all I know. Maybe every now and then, when I when I let a let a belch slip under my breath, maybe nobody can hear that either. And I'm apologizing for nothing. I guess I'd rather still play it safe, though. Is probably the thing. I don't want to be like, Bleh! and then just not say anything and be like. Yeah, what of it? Which I think I've talked before, like, I actually don't mind when streamers do that. As long as they don't make a habit of it and they're being, like, belligerent about it. Like, if they're just being a fucking slob and, like, that's a regular part of their conversation is just letting letting belches fly. But if they just, like, every now and then are like, oh, man, excuse me, I had, you know, I had something spicy for dinner. Like, I'm not gonna be like, how dare you? I'm gonna be like, I'm jealous, honestly. I love spicy. There's a lot of weird stigmas when it comes to streaming, I guess is what I'm getting at. And some of them I understand, and then others I'm kind of like, man, how did it become such a thing? Like, we're people, too, you know? What the fuck?
Are those the keystone pieces? I only have two of them, right? So I guess we gotta... I guess this is like the end of the game. Well, we still got a plum, so that's pretty cool. Well, shit, now where are we going? Uh, I, I, I guess. I'm not feeling good about this, but maybe we should head back to this dungeon and try to finish it. I probably... I have a lot of money! Holy shit! Let's go, let's go bank with some money first. Bank me? 1900 on the dot. You love to see that. Let's go ahead and check this out really quick. Can we... Could we upgrade any of, of the weapons we just have sitting around? Is that a thing? It doesn't look like that's a thing. You hate to see it. Okay. Where am I going? Oh, let's do some of this really quick. Bank these. Get rid of these entirely, methinks. I'll keep the we well, I'll keep some of the weapons. We have multiple of these goddamn things. We do not need three of these. Uh, I wasn't really feeling the slime cannon, but I can't get rid of it, so that's a thing. All right, dungeon me. Let's let's hope that we've come far enough that we can actually finish this place now. Just we just need a little bit of a damage upgrade, I think. If we're if we're just hitting a little bit harder and things are dying a little bit faster, I think we'll be in okay shape. Maybe I've had enough defense for this to be a thing, actually. Like, I just took, like, no damage at all from those things exploding. This is already feeling pretty good. Yeah, I think we'll be fine here now. I guess I had enough enough defense upgrades that this will get the job done. It's a little bit less punishing than it than it was before. That's kind of all I needed, like either to deal damage faster or to like take less damage. Before we were definitely in a situation where like I got hit like three times and I was like I might as well retreat. It was Castlevania 1 status, more or less. That was maybe not my best idea. Like, now I'm almost taking too little damage, because I'm getting hit by a bunch of really stupid things, and it's not, it's not punishing me at all. Which, honestly, I love to see, but I, I could see why someone would be like, Man, now it's too easy. And sometimes that's me, to be fair. Sometimes I'm like, man, the game is too easy now. I had a moment like that in Sonic Frontiers, where I was like, God, I'm too strong now? Everything's dying in, like, like really fast? I wish combat was a little bit more advanced than that. And... Believe it or not, still had people that was like, you should go turn stuff in and get stronger. And I was like, no. Things already are too easy. I don't want things to be easier. If you do, that's fine. But oh god, this is not going well. Uh, I'm gonna die. Yeah. 
I got it in my head that I should try and get in and drop a bomb, and I did, but it didn't really help, is kind of the thing. So that room still sucks. He's not dead yet? What the hell? Oh, I got stuck on the geometry. I hate to see it. Oh my god, I got hit by way too many things in there, but I think we'll be okay. Well, well. My kingdom for some iframes. Oh my god. Could you not, you son of a bitch? Oh my god. Is this where things went really bad? No, it was the next room, right? Sorry, focusing in a little bit here. Oh! These fucking womp looking asses. by the way. Okay, that went okay. Yo, we were this close to a save point the whole time. I hate my life. <laughs> what the fuck? Uh, we were so close. Alright. My, my king, please let me prove my allegiance. I will not hesitate that this time, this child shall die by your command- Oh god! Oh my- Oh, what the fuck is going on? I'm sorry, were you not pleased with the voice? Oh god! What is happening, dude? <laughs> oh no! Oh my- No, what the- I don't have words. He has broken me. He has broken me. God, what the fuck is any of that? <laughs> Hold on, I need a drink. Oh, okay. Man, the last of my Baja Blast is pretty much just water. You hate to see it.
doing good damage? I can't tell. I'm a little too focused on, you know, not dying. really quick. Oh, half health. Oh no, I need to heal and I just didn't have the opportunity to do so. That is a fight. I, I do feel like the Doom Rose was doing better. It's a lot harder to aim, but it, I think it was overall doing better damage. I gotta learn to dodge that shit, that's for damn sure. Yo. Ah, oh, fucking hell. Stay away, please? You maniac? Oh, no. Oh, okay. That's new. Oh, come on, get away. Fucking sword, dude. That was vicious. How much damage did that do? I wasn't that low, was I? I thought I was doing okay. That one shot did a lot of damage, or I was just um, a lot lower on health than I thought I was. I mean, that sword did fuck me, like, really hard. It locked on, like, real hard and caused a problem for sure. Uh, this is bad. Oh my goodness, how did I manage to achieve that? Alright, halfway there. Whoa, living on a prayer. good. Those did a lot of damage. Looking less good. Oh no. Oh no. Oh no 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 no. Oh I'm dead.
That was the worst time. I should have bailed out. I just really needed the heal. Okay, we can do this. It's just taking a lot of focus, I apologize. God, th this attack in general does a lot of damage. Like, getting hit by anything there is, like, catastrophic. Case in point, God, those... I had, like, half health, didn't I? Or at least, like, a third? Those those do a ton of damage. I do think this weapon is the way, as far as boss fights go, because getting both burning and poison up does just a lot of damage. A lot of passive damage. Sure, I have to aim harder, but I think, like, you hit him a couple of times, and he's taking a lot of damage. Now, it might be a decent idea to, like, switch back to the homing weapon, like, in the second phase, maybe? I'm dumb. It's kind of funny. I've watched a lot of Enter the Gungeon, and there's definitely some bullet patterns like that one there. We're watching them play, I'm like, how the hell are they dodging this? Like, how is this possible? And that's probably the same thing with that particular pattern there. I imagine a lot of people are probably like, how the hell are you doing this? <laughs> Honestly, I don't know. I'm sometimes just as surprised as you are. Uh, this is bad. This is super bad. That was, like, the worst place to be. Mm, it's bad, but I bailed out. It's feeling. Thank you, child. You poor old bastard. That was intense. Half heart me? And ooh, another healing flask. I'd love to see that. Oh boy, that was intense. Hey, it's you again. The old king's godlike power was bestowed upon him through an ancient ritual. With little more than a thought, he disposed of even the mightiest warriors and grandest wizards. It was clear that bow, blade, nor time itself could bring the old king down. With little effort, he seized the kingdom as his own, killing or cursing those who were foolish enough to denounce him. His reign of terror lasted centuries. Many thought it might thought it to be eternal. There are four more arch pieces to collect. You'd best be on your way. Are, are we on the same side? I can't tell. <laughs> There's... This is like the 
only the third piece. Like it's been a it's been a while. Like, like uh, overall, I feel like this game is probably going to be pretty short. I don't expect this to be like a thirty hour game or anything like that. But I think I guess the fact that it doesn't shuttle you between the dungeons terribly quickly makes it feel like each piece is like a very large ordeal. I feel like some of the shorter Zelda games maybe have that problem where it's like, realistically, they're kind of long, but they shuttle you from one dungeon to the next so quickly that it doesn't feel like it's long. Because you're just kind of... It's just kind of a linear path you're working down. And I mean, this is probably pretty linear too, but it, it just feels a lot more involved to me. It really makes you feel like you're Archvale. Anyway, sorry. I have 19 gold, so I don't think that's important. I think the uh, obvious next route is going to be to head to this city and do their palace place. As a matter of fact, it might be our... No, nah, it's not our only choice, but... I think it's I think it is the obvious choice. Realistically, we could also go over here, but I don't know, I just get the hunch we should probably do this first. Save me. And let's go. Agarika Palace. Agarika? Ag Agarika? I have no idea. No idea. I like this one because it's like, oh god, this is like the courtyard? It's not a dungeon, you know what I mean? A lot of times, especially in like, retro games, when you think of dungeons, you think of these like, underground labyrinths, right? And they tend to all kind of feel the same. But this one has a very unique feel to it. I mean, most of the dungeons in this game have been these underground labyrinths, these interior locations. God, this is a fucking ordeal and a half. Jeez. That was a lot. Just, you know me, getting hit by everything. Oh my god. Brick. Just sneak it in. A bard? What the shit? Well, you're gonna die. Oh yeah, you, you gotta die. You don't understand. Is that a 1,000 heal I saw him spit out? That's... That's just not gonna fly, buddy.
Oh my goodness. It's fucking Mega Man charge shot? What the hell? Oh, he does. He, they do be having cannons. Alright, that's fair. Okay. I should really learn to stop getting. Learn to start. Yeah, learn to stop getting hit by those. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That was right. He's really good at dodging behind other enemies so that I don't hit him. Or rather, so they will take the hit instead of him. It is cowardly, but I kind of respect it, almost, a little bit. Alright, so we're like inside the castle now, it looks like. What is this clown doing? Buffing everybody? No, 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 no. You don't understand. Bully, 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 bully. Okay, that sucked a little bit, but... These battles get really clench. Yikes! Oh my god. Okay. Oh, Jim, you've been digging. Die, please. Rip. Oh, come on. Whew, holy hell. Okay. This place is extremely linear. I'm noticing. I'm just gonna get you in a corner and bully you really quick. I'm gonna get you in a corner and bully you. Except not really in a corner, but I'm still gonna bully you, because... Have you never done PvP in a video game ever? Like, healers are a target. It's strategic. And that makes to being toxic. Okay, sorry, I don't have a very high opinion of competitive games anymore. I'm getting a little better at the concept of, of hucking bombs out there. A little better. But wait, there's more. Okay, that's fair. Well played. Okie dokie. This is intense. Alright, that's enough out of you. Oh, man. Death cap ring? <laughs> Poison all enemies upon taking damage. And it has some defense on it? I actually kind of like it. 
I think I'm about it. Ooh, no, thank God. I have a feeling this dungeon's not gonna be super long due to the, due to the linearity. Hey, look at that boss fight. This, the curse seeps into my roots. The colony bends to his will. You wish to free him? Then you shall die. I'm sorry, who are we talking about? Okay. I hate this. What? Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my lord. Oh! Heal me, quickly! <sighs> okay. Stop getting hit. By easily avoidable attacks, you didn't have any dodges. That's not your fault. I mean, it is, but it isn't. It's a past your use fault. Oh god, this is horrible. Aw, oh, damn it. <laughs> I thought I was in the clear. <laughs> oh, no. So why did the wizard repeat his dialogue every time? I thought that was weird at the time. And then I was like, maybe every boss has done that and I just wasn't paying attention. But that is not the case. None of them have repeated their dialogue after the first encounter. I keep dodging in the wrong way for that. I did it again. I tried to correct at the last second and it was just it was just too late. Oh, whatever. I'm awful. I didn't even try to dash through those. I just took it. You hate to see it. Sorry, I am very focused. I did it again? Oh my god. Ugh. I didn't have any dodges! No, not like this. Heal me. Cheeky little heal. Okay, half health. Now what mania is he gonna throw at me? It's kind of fine, it's just more bullets. I, got, I really gotta stop getting hit by that one. I hate this. Uh, oh, I'm surprised that didn't hit me. That attack has a long wind-up, it's a good opportunity to heal. Oh, I don't have any dodges. I don't have any dodges. Oh, no. I, I do not like this. Give me the big one. That's not the big one. The other big one? Yep, that one. 
TY. Damn it. That was a mistake, and I did not get punished for it. There's a whole heart container, dude. You love to see it. And an additional heart. Oh, God, that was tough. I don't think, like... The arch was intended to bring the people salvation from the old king's reign and assemble the seven stones would summon a portal to a world beyond our own. A world of eternal bliss, ethereal, intangible. A world incapable of harboring the dark magic that fueled the king's power, or so it was said. It has always sounded a foolish thought to me, and yet the promise of a hidden realm beyond the arch served as a beacon of hope to those who had long suffered under the king's horror and rule. As word spread through whisper, many undertook a great pilgrimage to the chamber of the arch's construction. Three pieces still remain. Remember what I said about there being just like a lot in between every stage? <laughs> Oops. <laughs> Suddenly two keystones, one episode. Bat. You're all free, I think. Were you not before? I don't I don't know. Can I... Am I blind? I am blind. It is right here. <laughs> Never mind. Yeah, I still can't really do anything. Alright, well that seems like a good enough stopping point, I guess. Um... I think next time we're going to continue this way? I, I think that's kind of our next... Our next way to go. So there's one out there... There's one down there, which they we needed some sort of vines for. And then we need to be able to get through here with something. So yeah, I think this is pretty much the only way we can go. So we'll work in this direction next time. I don't know if I'm going to record another one right now. Maybe I will. As per usual, that's irrelevant to you because the next episode is... Not even a video click away. It should just autoplay if I had to guess. Um, Well, unless you don't have autoplay on. But Anyway, thank you for watching. I hope you had a good time. If you did, don't forget to hit the like button. It does help out a lot. And keep an eye out for future episodes. We got a lot done in this one. Which is nice, because in the last episode, I think all we did was like meander the overworld. So, it was nice to kind of clean up some loose ends. And uh, I think on in the next one, we'll start off on a, a new journey entirely, which should be pretty fun. I don't know if I'm going to record that right now. You might be seeing me in a, in a brand new session at that point. We'll see. Oh, I don't really know what I feel like doing tonight. Thank you again for watching. Take it easy, and I hope to see you again soon.